All right, back on the tournament cart. I'm not even gonna say too much, bro. Let's just, bro, <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, how do I get out of here again? This? Wait, how do I get out of here? There gotta be like a little hatch in the wall or something, right? Oh, a door right here. Nice. All right. Pop. I forgot the objective a little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I forgot what happened last time. You alive? No, I got killed. Do you trust Vechinov too much, but he's keeping you in the dark. You have no yeah, idea bro. what's really going on. Well, he, we know now, though. You see it with your own eyes or you're not gonna believe it. You got that right. I have no f***ing idea. Well, what's going on? You will understand when you see it. I have proof. I'll be waiting in the Academy of Consequences. The entrance is inside the lighthouse. Trust nobody. I don't. Not even you. Great nature. Yeah. I must insist that you destroy the beta connectors. Why do you have a bug up your ass about those rings, Charles? Said you would make a decision about the rings when the time was right. That's a well. The time is now. I don't have time for this. Yes, you do, comrade major. Otherwise, it will be. There's a robot inside it. Oh, oh. That crazy something killed that oh my gosh. Poor well. Isn't that what I just said? Dodge him. There we go. Come on, Kalash. Okay. Okay, yeah, they do a, it does a lot more damage than I thought it did. So what's the game plan? Does this have any weakness or like I'm just spamming here? Bro, I Bro, can you can you stand still so I can actually do damage? And I dismissed that. Nice. Dodge him. Bro, this is what I'm talking about, man. I should have got that shotgun ammo. Dodge him. Ow. It's okay, it's okay. Just keep on refueling. Give me that damage buff. Eat up, eat up. Stop and eat up. Eat up. There we go. There we go. Ah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you regenerate, please? Thank you. Where'd he go? Why are you hiding behind the whale, bro? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, that is not normal in any regard. Okay, Carnage. Taking over, I see, huh? What the? It just pulled me. Er. Go. Watch this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zap him. Dodge him. Okay, so we have no ammo left. That's amazing. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! When the world was that, bro? First of all, it looked like it was undodgeable. Second of all, why were there so many? There were so many I couldn't even dodge. Lights out. What now? What you got? What you got? What you got, huh? Watch out. Oh, shoot. That was cool. Oh, there he goes. And he's down.
Nice. Give me that. Give me that. Hello? Up. On my Assassin's Creed. Yup. Hmm. You cannot tell me that wasn't supposed to. Come on now, bro. Jump! Dang, man. Light work. Much more powerful robots out there. Real combat robots are far deadlier. There aren't any combat bots here. Not yet. But once collected launches, they will be everywhere. And two of them will be equipped with beta connectors. Do you have any idea how much blood was one person's private ambitions? You and the rings are driving me nuts. When are you assholes gonna stop trying to pull my strings? Wait. Happy now? Good decision, comrade Major. I have no doubt that it saved lives. Perhaps many more than I can imagine. Let's hope so. Nice. Right behind Sun. Hold on, hold on. Crap, what a surprise. Um, oh well. Nice. Everyone who was able to hide and survive owes you their lives. You've done me proud. Thank you, sir. What now? They're still looking at me, though. Get a checkup and take some leave. You've earned it. I'll deal with the fallout from this mess. Roger that. I'm on my way. You didn't tell Sechidov about the weapon. Are you still planning to meet with her? I want to see this evidence she says is so important. Yeah, I'm about to take Petrov's girl, too, actually. That's what I'm saying. Quick clash rounds, yes, sir. So, where is she? Larissa, freaking critters, you around here somewhere? I do not detect anyone in the vicinity. Let's take a look around. She's got to be here. Do you trust Dr. Philotica? I don't trust anyone, but she's got something important to tell me, and I'm sure we're in. Sechenov is hiding something. Has Dr. Sechenov oh, wow. told you about his plans? Not really. I mean, he's never really had to, but now this whole thing with Petrov. Jellyman killed Stock and the boss didn't even bat an eye. Is the launch of Collected really so important he can't even delay it out of respect for the dead? I have no data on this topic, Comrade Major. No data, huh? Well, I don't have any data either. So let's go get some. Expecting? What were you expecting? I suspect that this room has a specific function. Okay. I knew it. I said I should have said it, but I knew it was gonna start descending. I knew it. Whoa! That's not safe. I believe that the unscheduled acceleration was caused by the elevator access system being hacked. Otherwise, Dr. Falatova would not have been able to initiate it. So she hacked the system. Kinda like how all these poor bastards got hacked to bits. Underwater base. Nice. nice. Actually, it looks amazing. A rapture. I wouldn't mind spending some time there myself. But I can't even imagine what's going on there right now. Comrade Sechenov asked you to return to Chelomer. How will you explain this delay? We can deal with that. Let's talk to the doc first. But if she tries to take off again, she's going to regret it. I'm sick of playing pinballs. Lost City of Atlantis! We found it. All right, bro. Let's lay, let's speed this up. Thank you. Well, well, well. We have a lot of explaining what to do. What do you want? Just hear me out, P three. Let me try to give you a different perspective, and then you can decide how to handle things. 
Do you know how Sechenov is planning to use Collective? What he's going to do with it? After Collective launches, people will be able to control robots with their minds. And they won't be able to stab each other in the back anymore. Sounds nice. I used to think that way too. But that's not how things really are. Collective isn't just about controlling robots. Sechenov will be able to control everyone who's a part of Collective. Collective is diabolical, Mitchai. It's even worse than slavery. Oh, s It's just the same old chain of command, but on a virtual network. What's so awful about that? Come on, see for yourself. I've got questions. Where are we? This is the Academy of Consequences, the facility's memory, analytics center, and primary archive. The activities of all the other complexes are studied here in order to draw conclusions and generate probability matrices. Get to the point. The Academy has a number of interesting departments. For example, there's the Radio of the Future. By mathematically combining shortwave and quantum echoes, we can predict the music people will be listening to 50 or even 80 years into the future. But there's another very special department here called Polymerized Subject Behavioral Psychology. They're supposed to be volunteers, but... How'd you get in here? Why didn't the Drophus stop you? I work here. Well, I used to. Only Sechenov can revoke my access. And he's got his hands full right now. And I'm no threat to him. Get to the point. And no more grenades or other bull****. Any funny business at all and I'll kill you. This is your last warning. Sure, fine. Come on, I won't waste your time. Okay, lead on. Oh, uh, okay. She's about to lock me in here. Don't trust her, P3. Turn around, P3. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Stupid, man. Well, are you ready? Disable polarization. Imagine, though. Wait, what is this? Volunteers who laid the foundation for Collective. First few groups of subjects all died. Group 30 went insane. Group 73 killed themselves. Group 101 killed each other. Group 204 was the most successful. They all survived. Their consciousness is now in an imaginary world. We call it Limbo. Mm. And their bodies are here under my complete control. Want me to make them do something? No, bro. Well. Show that I'm not lying. Okay, you're just okay. Whatever. I thought she was like kind of like getting carried away for a second. Dang. Where are you going? Uh, the fat guy. Tell him to jump. He could use just it. him. Why don't I make them all jump? After all, <laughs> we all live in a communist society. Go, you jump. Relax. This is indeed the poor bastards. No, that's where you're wrong. Chemically speaking, they're all perfectly happy. That's what Collective is all about. The entire world will be just like Why would Sechenov want to turn everyone oh, nah. into a bunch of idiots? Nah, Just yeah. In front of the world by making people run around naked and act like animals? <laughs> it's over with. We were able to prevent the degradation of individual consciousness. Memories, behavior, speech patterns are all preserved. But there's one thing they won't be able to avoid. The complete loss of their free will. Yeah, we're... We're taking Sechenov down. Ain't no way. We gotta stop. That's what Victor was trying to do. You got in his way, and now it's too late. Your boyfriend lost his mind and killed people. He tried to tell me Sechenov taught the robots to kill during the design phase. Why would Boss do that? Why? <sighs> Why did he design Collective to be a mind control system? Why does he need those special neurocontrollers? Sechenov wants to enslave the entire world. I'm sorry, but if you don't understand that, you're an idiot. Come on, P3. Look at it. Boss would never do that. P3, bro. And he will. 
On Monday. All this is really hard to swallow. But I'll help you. Whatever you're planning, I mean. <laughs> you're willing to turn on Sechenov. We're willing to save humanity. You just showed me. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. I want to hear what he's got to say. What? Nothing. I'm just digesting what I saw. Whoa. Why did you help me? Perhaps because I care. And besides, it's not about you. Well, not only you. If you worked here, then why didn't you try to stop this? I thought it was for the best. I thought it was for the good of the entire Soviet Union. But when I realized what was really going on, I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything and... I forgot to press play! Oh my gosh. I paused the... I paused the recording for a second. I come back, I forgot to... Oh my gosh, bro. Get your hands up! Wizard you are. Tell him to stand down, I'm counting to three. One! What a shame. Two! It's a shame you've escalated this situation without even trying to resolve it peacefully. But I won't let you stand in the way of progress. Right, left, turn. Whoa, whoa! Oh! I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready for that. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Whoa! Dang! Is she flying? Oh! Yo, chill out, chill out. Oh. What in the actual living f mm. Bro, wait, wait, what? They're not taking damage. Oh, they are, okay. I already fought one of them earlier. So like, this is not fair. No, 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 no. Not fair, it's not fair at all. Heal up. I already put, pressed the heal button. Why is it not healing up? Dodge, okay. Come on, bro. Heal up, heal up. Dodge him, dodge him. Oh my goodness. They just move around too much, bro. Don't 
I'm missing my shots. Froze her. This is actually kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. It's way too many things going on at the same time. Other than the fact that thought is a fake, the major is a murderous marionette, his wife is a dead doll, and I, Charity Zahara, am a pool of living polymer. And you were more than just enough, Bob. I'm willing to believe that you were acting in my best interest. But why couldn't you just tell me? I'm sorry, Fiche. I wasn't sure what to do. thing is to call off the twins and just talk to them. Forgive me, but right now they're fighting Karen, not you. What? First, they knock you on the ground. So you can't regenerate, and then they fire a blast of key blasts on you, so you die. Your health bar is down. I don't know why you're still dancing. Got him. Did they just make a black hole? He tried to he tried to shoot me. He gained access to the Vostok module in your brain and started sending you to limbo. I was busy getting ready for the collective update, so I didn't realize it right away. He's the one who killed Molotov. Tell me, Charity, did you do the same thing to Dr. Vladova? Did it did you use my agent to tear her limb from limb? I'm sick of your hypocrisy, Dimitri. I did your dirty work while you stayed squeaky clean. But they didn't deserve to die. Why have you done this? <clears throat> this whole time. What? You can't trust nobody, man. He's moving independently, bro. What do you want? Oh. I want your pathetic human race to realize it has no future. What? What?
humanity and collectively. You should not call something evil just because you cannot comprehend it. Evil is an abstract concept, and your thinking is limited. You are a human. What is that thing? Bro. But, but we were friends, Charles. You said it yourself. Bro, in a way. Nah, I need to be in the real world. Get me out of here. That's not my real wife, man. There is nothing I can do. Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way, bro. There's gotta be... No. So there are different endings. We got the bad ending. Because I thought we were supposed to kill Sechenov. But it turns out Charles was the big bad the whole entire time. But when I realized what was really going on... I had to bide my time, wait for the right moment. Victor and I risked everything, and uh, you know the rest. Fine, moving on. Professor Victor Clark leaving limbo. Inject your secrets. Uh, hey, Major. I'm fine. My head's been killing me lately. I've been seeing things. This is one hell of a job, let me tell you. We won't lose you. You won't even remember a thing. Hallucinations are serious business. Well, I am a neurosurgeon. I can probably help if everything ends well. <sighs> no, thanks. A little vacation will fix me right up. I mean, if this all ends well. Hmm. Fine. Listen, about Victor, I... Uh... What? Did you have no choice? You couldn't have acted differently? Will you now tell me that you're sorry? What? I am sorry. Well, I'm not. I should be, but... Victor... No other outcome was possible. It... It wasn't even quite him at that point. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel comfortable around these people. Huh, well, just you wait. Soon this is gonna happen all over the Soviet Union. And later, the whole world. Then you'll see all people's 
stripped of their free will. You know, free will doesn't guarantee that a person won't be a scumbag. What? Are you justifying atrocities? Atrocities? What atrocities? If they're volunteers, coming here was their choice. It's got nothing to do with me. You're a monster. Affirmative. That's enough. I'm too busy to chat right now. Very well. Enjoy the view. Okay. So yeah, we walk through here. And like we figure out something like no. Resist, my darling. Resist. Ah. I'm so sick of these and hallucinations. Do you see colorful spots before your eyes? Does your perception of the world change? Yeah. Exactly. Do you know what this sh is? You were crossing into limbo, but it can't be stopped. How did you interrupt it? I don't know. It's like that lump of polymer is calling out to me. A big teardrop-shaped one. Right there, straight above us. Do you see it? There's nothing there. What do you mean? I'm looking right at it. Oh crap. You now were. It's, gone. it's a hallucinatory reaction, a side effect of the surgery you underwent. The reaction of a damaged brain to the presence of a neuropolymer implant. What are you even talking about? What implant? Did Sechenov not tell you? So you don't know what's happening to you? Charles, do you know what's happening with my head? I am not detecting any internal changes, Major. But your Rossock polymer extension is clearly receiving an unidentified stream of external data. What's that interface? Who are you talking to? It's a chatting artificial librarian, an AI in my polymer glove. Doesn't matter. Charles, what are you talking about? Charles? Wait, Charles, what data? What Voshog polymer extension? The Voshog polymer extension was developed using data from experiments conducted by Dimitri and myself. What? Yourself? And why are you calling Dr. Sechenov Dimitri? Who are you? Comrade Major, this will be difficult to explain. I am Charles. Why the f are you all staticky? What the hell is going on? Keep it together, Major. If what I'm thinking is true, I should be able to access the archive right now. Doing exercise over there? State your name and personal access code. Crispy Clarice. Invalid name. Fine, I'll hack in. Not so fast. Name Charid and Zahara. Code fluffy. Code accepted. Access granted. Charles, are you there? Nothing. Nothing. So, what is Charles then? Long story short, your Charles is Professor Chariton Zaharov. Huh, that was short. So, how could he be Zaharov? Professor Zaharov was developing the collective subsystems and worked on the module, the one you have inside you. They told us he ran a number of experiments on himself. The result was disastrous and unpredictable. On himself? Was he an idiot or something? Oh, he certainly wasn't an idiot. Zaharov was a misanthrope obsessed with science. I don't think he cared about what happened to his body all that much. Yeah, 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 I went through this already, I'm sorry. So, how do we get in? Only a small bunch of people have permanent access to the archive. Sechenov, Lebedev, the director of the academy, and Zaharov. Like you reminded me. Fluffy, huh? <laughs> so what would we have done if the password hadn't worked? I'm sure you would have smashed the door with your bare fists. I am that strong. I am Dr. Zaharov, so we got lucky. And now we can learn everything about you. Let's go. This part right here. Welcome, Chariton Zahara. What is the subject of your query today? Agent P3, personal file. Your search returned 32 audio records. So, which one do you want first? C I couldn't care less. Then pick one at random. Try this one. Commencing playback. The events in Bulgaria left the agents badly injured. Technically 
speaking, they were clinically dead. Agent Blesna could not be saved. Since Agent Plutonium's condition was less severe, it was possible to return him to combat readiness. However, his nearly destroyed limbs had to be amputated and replaced with the latest prosthesis. Yeah, so I already know half my Agent P3 is like literally a cyborg. These are just general right? observations. Almost. Find another recording. So he's like I didn't even know that. Most of his limbs are like prosthetic. Okay, play this one. Commencing playback. Following his recovery, the agent's personality was altered significantly, including his behavioral and speech patterns. Look, look at me, bro. Because of this, I made the decision to remove the agent from the Argentum unit. In order to prevent any possibility of memory recidivism, Plutonium received a new call sign, P3, and is now under my direct command and observation. P3's contact with Argentum has been kept to a minimum, and Argentum personnel have been warned against mentioning the call sign Blesna in P3's presence. Yes, P. Uh, I'll get another one. What? Svechinov has you on a leash. He does whatever he wants with you. Listen, Doc, you saved my life. You think I don't know I'm a test subject? That's my job. <laughs> yeah, I've been through here before. I know where it is. It's right here. Before they always told me what they were doing. I'll go Here's get another recording. Okay. Now. Let's give this one a spin. Procedure. Implant the Voskhod neuropolymer brain function extension. Objective. Total elimination of destructive impulses triggered by traumatic memories. Patient, Major Sergei Nechayev. Code name, Plutonium. Attempt number three. The first two operations were unsuccessful. The patient suffered a severe brain injury in Bulgaria, which could not be repaired. The damage is of such severity that the patient will likely have to be euthanized. Did you hear that? He wanted to kill you. The frontal lobes are partially destroyed, causing the patient to experience bouts of uncontrollable rage. Uh -huh. The patient's steel prostheses render him dangerous to those around him. And that's about your seizures. Due to the incidence of temporary insanity, the patient is immersed in a surreal psychedelic reality that prevents him from accepting the consequences of his aggressive behavior. Uh, I don't get it. Can you translate for me? You're not gonna like it. The patient experiences intense hallucinations. Did you see your wife again, my boy? How? How did you know that? Yes, a Voskhod implant will give the patient artificial memories and allow him to overcome his obsession with his deceased wife. Your wife. It's all bullshit. I've never been married. With Voskhod, we can send the agent's consciousness into the imaginary world of limbo via a pulse aimed directly at his pituitary gland. Switching the major into combat mode on command. Okay, so every time we enter like that state of mind that you see, that means that he P three is is currently killing people on a like on a rampage. He's on a rampage and he's been triggered to attack and like just kill everything inside. Remember when we had that cutscene with Sechenov and it was like that other guy, he was like some kind of law enforcement. I don't remember exactly who he was, but he had like those glasses on. And he was telling Sessanov, oh, we're going to we're gonna um, get you your, like, your whole program shut down and things like that. And then we blacked out we, we, and we woke up and everybody was dead. It's because he had a switch turned on in his head to kill everybody. And as, he's, as his body is killing everyone, his mind gets sent to the state. Of like you know like the colorfulness and the rainbows and stuff like that so every time he gets blacked out every time we're in that state of mind in that world that other world um p3 is currently just ripping anything in sight apart just like rip, killing everybody remember that one guy who was with the sisters it was like one of um Shishinov's assistants or whatever we killed him what's it called uh yeah, we remember that whole army that was that whole squad that was there. We killed him. We killed them. So like every time we black out, boom. This whole time, dude. Not like 
like to add that I am strongly opposed. What a load of crap. I mean, there's no f***ing way. I'm afraid there is. Sachinov can send your mind to your own private paradise with a push Pushing of a button. button. And while his mind is there, he's attacking and killing everything in sight. We'll kill whoever he tells it to. What about the hallucinations? Are they also Sachinov? No. The hallucinations are just your brain's defense mechanism. Uh, why the hell should I believe any of this? Just like he'd never designed Collective to be a mind-controlled system. Who said Sechenov did any of that stuff? You can't even tell who's in that chair. If you don't believe me, go ask him. Yup. This man, this man has steel body parts, bro. His arms are made of metal. I knew he was not human, bro. What's the plan, Major? Well, not. I knew he wasn't just flesh. And bone. He's waiting for or a normal session. flesh and bone. If we want to stop session off, we'll have to string him along. So you bring me there as your captive, and then what? And then we play it by ear. You know, I thought there were actually. So that's how it is, Major. Think it over while I try. Actually, to let me not say anything. Attention now, bag major. I, I have no data about this incident. Trying to make a monkey out of me, are you? Well, join the club. That rewind is so cool, dude. Yeah, well, I guess it would have been the same. So, what else can we do, Sergey? You and I are friends now. Oh, really, friends? We need to get to Sechenov. Rectify this injustice and get revenge for what he's done to us. I guess you're right, Charitin. Justice does need to be done. You're a good man, Comrade Major. I hate to say this, but you're the first functional example of an ordinary link in the collective network. On Monday, everyone who has undergone polymerization will become just as malleable as you. I can't let that happen. Listen. The f gadget, the thought device. You can just take it off. Unfortunately, that won't help anyone. It just makes things worse. How come? <laughs> because all your thoughts are useless. A polymerized person's signal will be transmitted to robots and other equipment via their thought controller. But it is not what makes them a part of collective. The thought device can be removed, but this merely prevents the wearer from being able to make calls and give orders to machines. So how is Sechenov going to keep everybody under control? It's the neuropolymer injection that makes people part of Collective. It embeds itself in the brain and connects it to the neural network once and for all. The effect of this injection cannot... But I... Was I really... Ekaterina. And you aren't going to like what I'm about to tell you, Comrade Major. I've heard that before, but I doubt anything could surprise me now. You and your wife served with the Argenta unit. Ekaterina, or Katya, as you called her, was a highly qualified agent. As a child, she studied ballet and made significant achievements in both dance and martial arts. Ballet and martial arts? Are you trying to tell me the boss is metal twins? Yeah. No way. This is total BS. The boss would never do something like that. Just look at me, comrade major. After I died, my consciousness was transplanted into this globe. After your wife died, her consciousness could not be saved. But Sechenov uploaded an imprint of her professional skills into his bodyguard's matrices. This is... Holy... This can't be a... We've got a ride, Major. We can get out of here. Let's Are we go. leaving, or is there anything else you want to know? Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go.
and then we freaking he's in that state of mind so Crazy. Dr. Sechenov just held a press conference in which he completely denied rumors about civilian robots malfunctioning at Facility 3826. The facility is back to full operational capacity, <sighs> and the red alert will be very soon. soon. You Selection took a real pounding, didn't you? Will be you were pretty close to staying one. there for good. Where? You tell me. How am I supposed to know where you are when you're on the bloody rampage? You were a nice boy when my daughter was around, but ever since she passed away, you do nothing but sulk and fly off the handle at the drop of a hat. Nothing but blood and ripped off heads everywhere. It's a disgrace. What's your daughter got to do with me? <sighs> my cousin. Our cousin. Oh, it's okay now, all with your memory, Sonny. Lady. What are you talking about? She was my daughter, but she was your... Ekaterina Nechaya, codenamed Lefty, member of the Argenti Spec Ops squad. So you must be... Your mother-in-law, you stupid ignoramus. You worked for Sechenov until those Bulgarian terrorists blew you up. Katya didn't make it. Then Sechenov turned you into a monster. Yeah, I may have heard something about that. Why are you just sitting there if you already knew? I've been keeping an eye on you ever since. I figured there must be some humanity somewhere in you. Sorry, lady, but you figured wrong. My past, my present, it's all gone. W wait, where's Larissa? She's everywhere. Dude killed her, bro. just need to blow my head off. It's a great idea. Just blow your own damn brains out and be done Stand with down, it. Lady. Then section off can turn everyone into mindless meat bags. First the Soviet <laughs> Union, then the rest Fine, of the world. I get it. And if you get it, then get up. I'll give you weapons, lots of them. But only if you promise me you'll put that sweep down once and for all. And she didn't even give me lots of the weapons that she talked about. What's the matter? Cat's got your tongue? Listen to your elders, Major. Comrade Sechenov's deeds demand vengeance. What? What is this sh Sergei? It is these in our leader. Charge them to Harov. Cat, you devil. You're alive. In a sense. An evil wizard turned me into polymer goo. Wait a f minute. Are you telling me you've known Granny Dina this whole time? Keeping secrets can be very useful, Major. They haven't let us down yet. Useful to who? You keeping secrets is letting me Sechenov down. Sechenov must be off his rocker if he's doing this kind of stuff to people. Wait a second. What about Katya, Kartenka? Could she still be alive? It's possible, but in what state? Just look at me. 
I'm not sure I'm better off, but I don't have hard data at this time. I'm begging, begging, begging old Pat to die! Jeez, get off my back already! Just critters. What the hell is going on down here? On the one hand, I've got lying to make me keep the thing from the Noble Avengers. On the other, I've got a Soviet scientist and member of the Academy who wants to enlighten all mankind and use me to get rid of assholes. I'm not going to do anything, bro. Whatever, lady. Why don't you show me what's now in the house of yours? I'm not laying a finger on Sejanov. I'm out. I've had enough of this game. What the hell are you? Are you some scared little b? You're making a mistake, Major! Head to Cello Main now! If you're so worried about your righteous vengeance, you can go there yourselves. This is my decision, not yours. I'm not helping Sechenov anymore. I've done enough harm. But I'm not playing executioner for a member of the Academy, a hero of the Soviet Union, and a scientific genius. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. He is just using you! Is that you. so? Then why aren't I in that limbo, huh? Why aren't you dead? The wizard isn't doing a good job from behind his curtain. By the way, Cherton, I was thinking... Yes? You up. This boss hog polymer extension in my head, it was your invention. You tried to use people long before Collective came into being. Maybe Section Off wants to knock the bulls out of people's heads by crushing their spirit, but he isn't turning people into monsters just like me. Or he just used boss hog instead of the thought controller and the shots. Mm. You're making a mistake. <laughs> Shut up. Mm. There. That's better. Bro. Security footage shows Major P3 exiting facility 3826 and fleeing. His destination remains unknown. Major P3 did not provide any information about his destination, though Dr. Sechenov views this infraction as insignificant. Near the exit used by Major P3, a camera recorded an unidentified object made of black polymer. Its design is unknown. Furthermore, due to its small size, the polymer object in question could not be further analyzed in the footage. So, that was Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart. All right, man. The ending. The ending was very interesting. It's not that I didn't like it. Okay. Something I understand about the ending is that there, like in the game, in this game's universe, there's no good ending. It it always ends bad for like the people of of the planet. Like if we let Sessionov, if we walk away and let Sessionov do his thing, right? He still would want to control people and like be able to send them to like that mind space or whatever i think at least and then that's that's not good but then there's the there's the charles ending where charles like he becomes like this walking black polymer and he wants to destroy humanity basically and he's smart enough to do so so like the better ending is when humanity is not destroyed but both endings are bad there's no good ending in this game both endings like end with humanity going through some sort of chaos, I guess, right? But P3 walked away. I mean, at least it's at least he's still alive. At least he's not like in this mind space until he rots and dies, you know? He's still alive. He just quit. This game, this game was a good game. Overall, the game was a good game. But what I will say is that. There were too many levels where just back to back enemies, just back to back, just back to back, and they give you no space to breathe. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's just me. There was a there was a certain sequence. Like remember that four hour. Remember, remember how I said I was recording for four hours? It was just like in and out, just just going in, defeating enemies. Next stage, no break. No, like I have to find metal. I had to. I had to find like the health injecting things. Like I had to find ammo. 
it was just back to back. They gave me no breather. And that was my only issue with the game. The graphics were amazing. I did like the combat. I did like the robots. It was a good game. I can say I enjoyed Atomic Heart. Puzzles weren't like overly complicated. You know, it was right to the point. The story, I, I'd say, hmm. Maybe it's just how I don't want to, like, maybe it's just me not wanting to, like, end the game off with, like, humanity being destroyed or whatever, but I like the story. It, I, I don't want to say it was a bad story, okay? What they should have done, though, they should have expanded more on on P3's backstory a little bit more. They should have gave Larissa a bigger role before she got killed, you know what I'm saying? They should have gave P3 a, a better ending, I don't know, like, he's not, he's like a lone wolf now or whatever. He was used by the, the the guy behind the scenes. He was used by the by Sessionoff and Charles. He killed his future girl, bro. We know he was about to he was about to get with um Larissa. We know he was, bro. Body here in the elevator. The graphics were amazing. The gameplay was amazing. The atmosphere, of the whole world was cool. The concept of the robots attacking. I don't really understand the zombie part. I don't know why that was such. Like, I don't know how that had any importance, but it was there. It was cool. It was cool. It was it was fine. The bosses were okay. You know, they weren't too bad. They weren't too easy, but, like, they, they kept you on their toes, which is good. But, um, yeah. Honestly, I enjoyed Atomic Heart. I did. I, I enjoyed playing Atomic, Atomic Heart. It's a good game. I don't think I could say it was a bad game. I don't think I could say I don't reckon I don't recommend this game to anybody. I like the voice acting. Charles' voice actor was good. Everybody had a everybody's voice acting was good. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. But um W Granny Xena, WP3 especially. He went through all of that. W Larissa, but Rip. Rest in peace, Larissa. Such an office still alive. Charles, the main guy, is dead. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I'm going to catch y'all later.